Hey guys, Linda Bomba here from lindabomba.net, uh, coming to you from my home office outside Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. And I am shooting, this is episode number three of Ask the Bominator Show, where you can submit questions to me and I will ask, answer them on a future show. You can connect with me on my blog or social media. But the question today that I, and I've been asked this actually a lot from a number of people, is how do you flip the conversation to business? And when people ask me that, and I, I, I know where they're coming from, but when you're out, you're meeting people, whether it's Facebook, uh, Twitter, Snapchat, or social media, offline, offline, online, and you're just trying to meet people, if you go into the conversation with the idea that you're trying to flip the conversation to talk to you, to that person about your business because you want to sign them up, people are going to feel that from you. And if you're in a situation, I understand what this was like. I mean, I was broke. I was unemployed. I was in foreclosure. I was desperate to make some money. I, I get that. But you're better off just kind of just taking that off your mind. And when you're meeting people, just to meet them. Um, you don't, you know, and on a first touch, you're never going to want to bring your business up with somebody. Um, I mean, if you're meeting people on Facebook, I mean, like one of the things I like to do is if I um, go and try to connect with some people who've liked my fan page, I mean, I'll just send them a message and say, hey, hi, thanks for liking my fan page. I sent you a friend request. I mean, you may end up engaging in a conversation with that person further. They just might accept the friend request and maybe start um, engaging with you on a post. That's why I mean, if you're using Facebook or Twitter um, or Instagram or any of the social media platforms, uh, you're really your best bet is um, like on a Facebook profile. As marketers, we've never had the opportunity where you can go to somebody's profile and you can really learn a lot about them. I mean, do they have do they have any pictures of kids? Do they have kids? Do they have pictures of a dog? Um, do they have pictures of maybe someplace they were vacationing? Um, do they have interest on their profile that they're expressing? You know, like maybe they're in the golf or tennis or traveling that you can pick that, you know, learn those things from somebody and you can start a conversation that way. Um, look for a common interest. Uh, when you're looking over pe people's social media profiles, is there something that that person likes that you like that you can connect with them? Because if you go into the conversation, um, and this one person that asked me that just kept asking me the same thing over and over again, you've really got to, that's why people, and you'll hear this and I'll say this to you, you have to meet people without agenda. Um, and I, I'd say that there's just so many people in this space that they meet people with agenda. And I know I had somebody who, um, and I ended up, I did join. Uh, the only reason she ever talked to me was because she wanted to recruit me. And we just have such a terrible relationship. I mean, I, I and then somebody actually of her um, experience, she should know better. And, and it's really, it's a lack mindset. Because not, I mean, most people aren't going to want to join your business. People don't go on Facebook um, looking to buy stuff or join people's business. They're there to socialize, talk to family and friends, meet people, um, you know, share common interests, you know, kind of, uh, and, and it is very addicting going through your newsfeed, but if you can make a point, you know, I take a, a, a set amount of time and say, you know, I'm going to go through my newsfeed for 15 or 20 minutes a day and connect with people because when you're, you know, talking to people and your friends, you should be able to see they're commenting and stuff um, through your newsfeed. So I, the answer to that is you don't want to flip the conversation um, to business. You just you just want to take that off your mind. Don't meet people with that in the back of your mind. Uh, and, and truthfully, most people aren't going to want to join your business. The best thing you can do um, if you're online and you're on a social media platform is to put out great content, free content, and be posting, you know, I use an 80-20 rule, 80% uh, like lifestyle, um, results if you're getting them, uh, content uh, that's, you know, uh, putting value in the marketplace, something free, invite them to a free webinar where they can come on and learn something, and then 20% lifestyle, family, um, you know, maybe you have an interest, a passion, something you're passionate about, and be posting those kind of things. And and if, if you look on like a site like Facebook, the best posts, the ones that get the most engagement, have nothing. People aren't talking about their business. Um, and yes, you should. If you're getting some results, you should be 
proving, you know, showing that, or, you know, if, you know, you have something going on in your life that's interesting. But that's the answer to this question. You do not um, want to be trying to flip the conversation to business with people. Just get that out of your mind and don't meet people with agenda. So, I mean, I hope you found this helpful. Um, if you're looking for um, more, uh, more information about meeting people and talking to people, uh, you can actually, if you're on this video now, just go over to my YouTube channel. I have tons of uh, videos on different subjects. I've got plenty of ones on there about how to meet people like on Facebook. Um, if you can't find something, uh, leave a comment below this or you know, come over to Facebook and message me. I'd be glad to help you out. So that is episode three of uh, Ask the Bominator Show. If you have a question, submit it to me. I'd be glad to uh, take that up on a, a future show and I will talk to you guys later.